Hi guys, I'm not going to be able to do any TikTok live this morning, so I am making a vlog to show you how the day goes. Um, as you know, yesterday was Nate's birthday and we kind of celebrated a little late, I guess, because I came in from work a bit late. I went straight to choir practice after work, so by the time I got home, it was late. So we spent some time playing some games and so on. So we went to bed pretty late. So we didn't get up until, I didn't get up until after seven. So by the time I showered and everything, um, it's too late. Sun is up. Don't have anywhere outside to keep the sun for, to keep the phone <laughs> for so long in the sun. So we're starting now. Plus we didn't wash. We have one load of clothes that we washed, but the rest is just being sorted and stuff. So, I will show you what we do for the day, but no TikTok live today, unfortunately. Um, I will let you know what else we do today. Guys, it's 7.39, and when I tell you that the sun is hot, that the place is so hot already, so, so hot, I can't do any live really can't actually did i reconsider but no me really can't me just have to go hurry up like speed if you hang out a few pieces of clothes and so i have this one load of clothes ready with the uniforms and stuff that we wore to work so i'm gonna run go hang these out and hurry up and come back out of the sun so no laundry live this saturday this has to be done in the early morning well much earlier than this anyways i'm not gonna have the time to chat like how I normally chat on the lives and do what I'm doing. But the yard one cut in and we just cut it the other day and I stuff I grow so fast. Um not to mention over this so over this I won't cut so bad. I when we go can clear up over this so anyways I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Okay, so I just braved up and hung out the first load. Then there is doing some cleaning. But guys, the sun is sunning. So I'm waiting on the next load of clothes to wash. It has eight minutes left on it. But as I'm waiting, I found this bat. <laughs> then we made this last week Sunday for the boys. What do you guys know about this? Want to know about um, making cricket bat out of coconut tree? <laughs> Alright, so after the load of clothes in the machine, I have three other loads to do. So one with Nate's clothes, one with DJ and Deja's clothes, one with the white. So we're not going to get to soak these, but so it go. So DJ and Deja are still asleep. Nate just woke up. So it's 8.52. Feeling like I'm on go slow today. So I'm just taking out the second load of clothes. <laughs> Um, I'm so scared of the sun. The sun is so hot. But let's get this done. So I've just put load number three in and I'm gonna hang out load number two. So then we and Nate are cleaning up the backyard and I asked DJ to make breakfast. DJ and Deja to make breakfast. So I'll show you what they do. Okay, so I just finished hanging out load number two. It's now 9.21, so I'm going to go and check on the kids, see what they're doing in terms of breakfast. So, I'll look this up, but never mind. <laughs> this That's is where they're at. Coming. That's because you are coming, and I said never mind. You were going to steal some salt, but because I'm coming, you said never mind? Yes. You shouldn't be stealing any at all, Deja. Deja, wait, 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 Deja, let it, let it, um, harden a bit before you start stirring. Give it a second. Don't you see the yellow stuff coming around the edge, stir. Bless you. We need to stir harder than that. No, not yet. Give it some time to get a little hard. Deja. I'm not letting it to, to the floor. To the floor? To the floor on the pot. Give it a little time. It has to harden a bit. Deja, let it harden a bit. Let it harden a bit. 
leave it like that. Give him a try, Deja. Don't play in there. Just wait until it's hardened. Now flip it. Flip no. It. <laughs> flip it. Flip what? Just take your time. Or else it's going to stick to the bottom of the pot. What do you mean by practically done? Is it done or not done? What do you mean by it's practically okay, done? Okay, another word. Basically done. Yeah, so what do you mean by basically done? Is it done or not done? Okay. I need to break it up a little. Okay, so I'm about to share breakfast. Um, the kids made breakfast under a little supervision, so they did well for the most part. I'm waiting on the water to hot to make tea, but I'm going to share so they can start eating while I make the tea. Okay, so breakfast is served. We're going to have this with white bread. And Milo okay so we finished breakfast we have quite a number of dishes to wash up because we never wash up last night and no we're nasty but as I said we went to bed very late we were celebrating so we never did I do no chores anyways the point is when I'm washing the dishes I pack up first I don't know who else does this so I'm, that's what I'm really showing you who else packs up like sorts cups separate from plates separate from the pots and like put the utensils together over here so that it's easier when you're washing up but anyways i'm not gonna wash up i just packed it up for dj dj is going to wash up because i'm now going to hang out load number three and i'm going to and the denvia and nate are back downstairs cleaning up the backyard after we finished breakfast we played some rummy cube for a little while so it's now 10 18 and i am fretting to go in the sun but i'm gonna go do what i gotta do now so putting on my hat securing the hat first and then i'm gonna go hang these out so this is nate's clothes and i'm putting load number what is now four to wash okay guys so i finished doing nate's clothes i'm telling you jesus the sun is so hot i felt like my skin was burning off but anyway, waiting on another load of clothes and then I will go back down there, but I'm gonna cool off a little. Guys, the machine giving me pure trouble. Um, every minute it stopped I'm beeping. A while ago it stopped altogether, but it's working back now. And um, I got a number for a technician in case it stopped, but I'm literally fretting over it a bit. But I'm not going to be worried. I mean, just trust God. But if you mash up now, I can't buy one new one. I would have to definitely try to fix it. Um, Nate is washing some mats for me. I asked him to wash out those mats. I try to tell him to hurry up and come out of the sun because I tell us that the sun is nice out here. So I came up and saw that DJ finished washing all the dishes. And I haven't even been gone for like 20 minutes. So I said, DJ, you did so well. <laughs> but apparently, then we helped him. So that's why I finished so fast. Guys, the sun drunk me. <laughs> I can't want to sleep right now. I'm telling you, the sun is a different level today. Different level. Maybe because I'm always washing so early. So I'm mean, going normally feel it so bad. But trust me, the sun is on a different level today. Anyways, um, we're trying to wrap up because the boys need to go to the barber. As you know, Monday is the first day of school. So... They need to go trim so much for their summer cuts no more fading ball it again and all the people who want to tell me say um i must cut them ear in style and whatever no they're going to follow the rules and the school said their ear must be cut on one level so we cut them ear on one level no fade no fanciness no nothing just a regular ear cut because a school them ago nothing else no more important than their education at this stage of their life Holidays and stuff, then can get whatever fancy cuts they want to get. But for right now, um, book work is the most important thing. Anyways, I'm really tired, really hot, but I'm waiting on the next load of clothes. And then I'm going to go hang those out. I guess they will probably have to leave me. I need to do my eyebrows. My eyebrows haven't been shaved in maybe over a month or so. So I'll probably get ready and go out. 
afterwards. When I know that they're getting through, me just go so we can get it done same time with them. Okay, so the boys are getting ready to go to the barber. DJ is filling up on what on ice and water. Nate preparing his bottle over there for the same thing. And then we are waiting on them with impatience. With great impatience. <laughs> Wanna hurry up? Eh? Anyways, I'm gonna go hang out the next load of clothes. But because the sun is so hot, I'm gonna try to sort from up here. So I have these two empty baskets. So I'm gonna try to sort from upstairs. Okay, so I'm putting the last load of clothes to wash. This is all the soap powder left in the bucket. <laughs> I normally use two, two of this. So I'm gonna use all of what is in there. But I do have another bag of soap powder. So I'm gonna pour that in. So I just got the new soap powder. Deja said she wanted to cut the bag open for me. Deja, let me help you. No, Deja, down further, down further. Why? <laughs> down further, Deja, you can't cut it there. Let me show you. You have to start it like down here. See? Finish, Finish it now. Finish it. Careful, watch your finger. Come on, Deja, you can do it. Huh? Just cut upwards, upwards, upwards. Watch your finger. Cut. Okay, so we have to take out this little container. Hold this, hold this. And then we pour out the soap powder. So quick. I didn't move my hand. Mommy, I didn't move my hand. Thank you, Deza. Guys, okay, so the machine not not washing at all. Not washing. Like if I try rinsing it will start, but when it's time to wash, it's not washing. I don't know what's wrong with it. So, and then we are gone on the road. So I guess I'm going to have to call the technician. Guys, the machine stopped on me again and I got it to work again. I called the technician though, but he wasn't hearing me well. I'm trying to sort up here because the sun was so hot, but it actually just gone down to outside. Not as hot as before. I'm wondering if it's going to rain. So I'm going to try to quickly hang out these and take up what I can take up. I just finished sorting everything so now I'm just gonna go hang so the rain actually just started before I could even hang out any other things that I just sorted so I'm gonna take up what I can from what's dried already so this is why we always hang the uniforms first because just in case it rains they will be dry so I've got to take up the first set of clothes the Sun seems to be coming back out so I'm just gonna hang out the clothes same way the uniforms are dry that's the most important thing so and the work clothes so I'm gonna put these upstairs and carry down the wet stuff to hang out I forgot to show you these pears that I got and not only me and then we eat pear you know so it might end up spoiling on us but let we will definitely do our best because both of us love pear but they're not fit yet they're not ready yet I mean they're not ripe yet but they're fit so there are nice clear blue skies over here dark clouds over here <laughs> so let's see what's gonna happen if the dark clouds will overtake this side or if this side will eventually spread and look like that side well and i really it's gonna spread still let's see if the dark clouds will go away the rain came down a while ago so if you notice i threw some clothes over the line in the middle there I was pinning those and the rain came down but it kind of stopped again so I'm going back down 
I'm just gonna try to get it out the way because I need to go on the road and I'm not going out until I do everything but I need to go get some supplies for the kids for school I still haven't bought their textbooks I might not be able to buy their textbooks today or much of them maybe just Deja one I'll buy for today um, but I need to get some supplies for her container and so on so I need to go on the road and see what I can get so I need to finish this up so I can go I don't know if you can see the size of these raindrops but they are super big <laughs> so I was trying to hang out still but I said you know what I'm not gonna get sick because I'm trying to finish this so let's just see what happens whatever happens I'm fine with it I'm not killing off myself so I'm just waiting but the raindrops are so big I don't know if you can see it clearly so I'm gonna come out of the rain if it stops I'll go back finish hanging out because where am I gonna go in this rain anyways I'm not going to walk up and down to no store in this rain anyway so I might as well still man play games on my phone or something until it finishes so at least I'll go get some rest not rest like sleeping rest but I'll go sit down and rest my body this is what has been coming up on the machine each time it stops so it just hums a bit and then it stops I don't know I don't know what's wrong with it so it's just not spinning any at all whenever it's to spin it just does that if you open it and close it back then it continues well, I don't know it's just working on and off on and off but it's raining anyway so I'm definitely not trying to hang out this loader close but let's see if it stops raining I may go on the road it always hurts my heart though whenever I see clothes getting wet on the line you know like when they're half dry and you see them getting soaked <laughs> it always pains my heart there's some serious rain falling on this is some serious rain <laughs> come let me see your hair hair cuts <laughs> why are you making up your face like that you don't want your hair to be cut <laughs> Let me see, let me see, let me see. Turn. Don't worry, Nate. It will soon be holiday again. DJ, let me see yours. Yours is even worse. Where is then bear? Alright, it's 1.38. The boys just came back off the road. Nate is complaining bitterly about his haircut. He said, All my hair is gone. Anyway, the rain stopped. That's what I'm showing you. But well, all the clothes are soaked. So I'm about to go hang out the rest of the stuff. DJ is asking why the place sounds so peaceful. It's because you weren't here, DJ. When you and Nate aren't here, there is peace and quiet. Okay, that's right. Just because me and Nate What? It's... Because you were both not here, we had peace and quiet. It's because me and Deja were separated. That's, That's it. That is the truth. When you and Deja are separated, we have peace and quiet. So it's 1.49 now. And I actually went and finished hanging out the rest of the clothes from the last batch I was doing. Um, the whites are still in the machine. I'm not looking for... I don't think it's possible for me to hang those out for today. But I'll see what happens. I'm gonna get dressed to go on the road. But I'm not sure if I'll get to go. We'll see how, what happens with the weather. So there's this game I play with the kids called Be Prepared for Santa is Coming that my mom used to play with us when we were children. So it's still raining. I'm waiting on the rain to stop before I can go on the road. I remember I told you I need to go to the bookstore. So I'm going to show you what it's like. Basically, they have to cover up themselves very, very well underneath the blanket so that I can't find any room to come under there and pinch them. I'm seeing body parts. So after I sing the song, then it's time for me to find them. <laughs> Guys, I'm sh I should be able to reach you, okay? All right. So let's see who first I'm going to catch. Be prepared for Santa is coming. Be prepared for Santa is coming. Be prepared for Santa is coming. To give us a big fat pinch. 
<laughs> Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon. <laughs> what would you like for Christmas? A big pinch or a little pinch? No, a little pinch. Little for you, Deja. Okay, I'm coming. I'm just joking. No, Which one? I'm just joking. That's it, I'm done. No more turns. No more turn. Guys, it's now 2.39 and I totally forgot that I haven't had lunch. So I'm making peanut butter sandwich. Um, and I have to go to KFC for the kids. Mom sent money to buy Nate's KFC for his birthday. I planned to get it, but she sent it and I haven't gotten it yet. So I need to go get that. And I have to go get the books and stuff. So waiting on the rain so that I can go on the road. This is one of the reasons why I hate going on the road when it's raining. The traffic and the dirty water up on the road. Me, 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 I hate when dirty water catch my foot. I feel so scornful. Anyways, I'll just try and see how best we can get what we need to get quickly and head back home. It's now 3 o'clock. Stuck in traffic, like standstill traffic. Honestly, I hate it. I feel like I want to turn back and go home. If I never see children sick, we go right back home. But let's see. So I've gotten two books. One for DJ, one for Deja. Um, they're all out of the books that I need. Which is what the line is looking like in the bookstore to cash out. So I don't know if it even makes sense I'm gonna buy one one stuff. I think I'm gonna just try to get the crayons and stuff for the container and then i come back this is some of the books were recalled and should be back by september 9th so let's see so guys i guess we waited too long to go buy the books so for some of them some of them they said i recall them and they're gonna redo them or something like that but they ordered all of the other ones though that are missing i only got four books um Two for Nate, one for DJ, one for Deja. Some of the books on the list for Nate, you won't be doing the subjects until January, so I'm not buying them from now. But yeah, I'm gonna go to a haberdashery and see if I can get the other stuff for the container for Deja. Oh, so I forgot to tell you, I don't know if you saw, but the four books came to almost $13,000. So we've started Bangor Bleach book retail i don't know what you call it so then we are going to fill up the bottle now i've been trying to order the kfc online for the children and every time i text on the button and say hi it's a kfc jamaica is closed so i don't know what's happening because um, i've gotten so used to shopping online when it comes on to kfc well overall but with kfc as well that it's so hard for me to think of going out there go stand up in our line and worse like all the time rain you know my god but anyway it is now let me see what time it is it is now 3 3 46 so let's see um i don't know what time we're going to get that if we have to join that line but we finish at the bookstore then there's getting the bleach and then we're gonna go to the harbor dashery then kfc would be our last stop so let's see what time we reach home today so it used to be paying one thousand something like maybe about fifteen hundred dollars for two bottles of bleach at price mart and i just got back three hundred and thirty dollars change from five hundred dollars so that's our hundred and seventy dollar one hundred and seventy dollars to fill the for the for the one gallon of bleach so i'm at a different bookstore and i'm getting some other stuff i went to the haberdashery but i wasn't finding the things i needed so I'm gonna go back to one because I still need to get like the wipes, the toiletries in the Fadesia. So I'm seeing what else I can get here. Alright, so it's now three minutes to five. Um, then Vianna are on our way to KFC. 
it's been a rough rough trip rough 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 so I will tell you all about it when I get home so I'm currently in the line at KFC this is what the line is looking like because I can't order online so I think I'm probably around 20th maybe around that because the line wraps all the way around and around and around so I guess this is the back to school KFC rush it's crazy No, 5 35. Um, I've been sitting down, I marked my spot in the line, so I'm gonna move to where I am supposed to be in the line. So this is what the inside looks like now, one hour later. Alright guys, so I'm finally home. I'm going to give you the update shortly. But for now, I'm going to eat. We finally got the KFC after over an hour. So we're going to eat and I'll tell you about the day while I'm eating. So Deja got popcorn chicken. DJ got a meal deal. Nate, Denvi and I got big deals. So I'm gonna eat and tell you about everything that happened on the road. Alright, so final part to the video. I was not able to capture as much as I wanted to and to talk as much as I wanted to because I was on the road of course but guys we went to the first bookstore some of it you saw we went to the first bookstore we got like four books then we decided to go to another bookstore right we got most of the books there while we were there we realized that one of the books that we bought at the first bookstore was actually wrong so we had to go back to that bookstore to, to exchange it all of the places where we go I like one cashier so we are talking about lines upon lines mm. when we finish now at that bookstore we said okay we're gonna go to the harbor dasher and get the stuff for day huh? we bought like the wipes and so on when we leave there so we had to go we went to kfc we reached kfc about five o'clock as you saw i think i did a, a video at that point we were in i was in the line until about six o'clock after kfc so now Mm -hmm. After KZ, we had to walk with the food because the whole place is packed up. We couldn't drive out there. So we had to walk with the juices and the food. And a far we park, you know. So we had to tie up the juices in a bag and everything at that way. We got a bag, we stopped at another store and got a bag. Everything at that way. Long and short is that we made it home. As you can see, I'm grateful to be home. We got most of the stuff. 
I even bought some of the books for Nate that I said I wasn't going to buy. Because he was telling me that chemistry is not until he's not doing chemistry until January. But I still bought the chemistry one. Me just buy when we could have buy and done. So um I guess that's pretty much it guys. That's the end of the vlog. It's just for us to eat now and then um well, I needed to get more paper to wrap the book, but I could have bought a turn back so I bought some so then we will wrap those. But wrap whatever I can wrap, but pretty much I think we're set. I think we're pretty much set now for school. So I don't know if I'm gonna some of the books we just couldn't get, but all that we could get we got. So after if anything I might do a little back to school preparation another part because I did a preparation video before. So I might do that part. For KFC though, I don't know. I don't know what it is with Jamaicans and KFC. But boy, the number of people in the KFC, at least 60 or 70. No joke, at least 70. You are so full. Anyways, I eat KFC, but I don't love KFC. Only reason I stayed was because um, I promised me to get it for his birthday. If I never that, I come on me all the long time. But that's it, guys. That's the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you in the next vlog. Bye.